So I'm going to read to you uh, Genesis 2.15. The Lord God placed the man in the Garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. As we read the scripture, we want to see that prior to sin entering the world, prior to any of that stuff, and God's perfect and created design, that he placed us here and he gave us stewardship over the planet, over the animals, over the plants, over everything that is here. God himself designed us to, uh, I don't want this to be misinterpreted, but I'm going to say like he gave us the right to be like a God in this planet under his authority and Godship, of course. I'm not trying to say we're God. I'm just giving us this idea. He gave us the reign of this place, the stewardship of all that is here. When we jump into the New Testament in Matthew 25, Jesus is teaching an illustration of the kingdom of heaven and uh, wanted us to understand the stewardship that God has given to us. Again, the kingdom of, God, of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave five bags of silver to the one, two bags of silver to the other, and one bag of silver to the, the last, dividing it in proportion to their abilities. Then he left on his trip. That's Matthew 25, 14, 15. So you see, like, when Jesus is teaching us something here now that we jump forward in the New Testament, he's giving us the understanding that everything that we have, God is the one that has provided that for us, and he's entrusting us with it. He's expecting us to be stewards of everything that he has given to us. That means we should care for what is around us. I'm not talking about um, environmental craziness. I'm talking about being a good steward of everything that God has given to us. As we consider this, the Lord has put within our grasp that that he expects us to steward according to our abilities. So we shouldn't complain about we don't have, what we don't have because if God's our provider and he's given us what we have, that's all he can trust us with. And I'm not just talking about financial things. I'm talking about the stewardship of life itself in every area. Let's practice good stewardship where we are so that the Lord can give us proportionately that that we not only can handle, but that he wants to bless us with at the same time. Let's be his church.